Hey, what's up guys? This is Andrew, and today I'm going to be giving you my top 5 Chrome extensions for Google Drive. First up, we have WAPWOOF Automator for Google Drive, which is pretty much going to allow you to migrate any folder that you have in Google Drive to another service or convert any files. So pretty much what you want to do is log in and connect it to your Google Drive account and that'll be just your regular Google Drive credentials. And after you sign in, you'll be brought to the main screen which will populate a list of all the folders and then you have your automation options up top. So in this case, I'll have it set up so whenever I upload a specific photo to a folder, I'll automatically upload it to Facebook. So all I have to do is select that option, scroll down to the bottom, and then connect it to Facebook and then choose which folder I want to have automatically pushed directly to there. Now you could also set it up to resize photos, to convert photo, you could also convert PDFs to ebooks, and also you, you could convert audio as well. Now there are different plans depending on what you want to do. So you can check that from the plans menu and see what you get for free or if you have a one week premium or professional level account. Next up we have HelloFax which is a fax extension for Google Chrome. Now this isn't specific to Google Chrome but it connects nicely right into your Google Drive storage. And what it allows you to do is send faxes to them so you no longer need a fax machine. You can just go ahead and use HelloFax instead. If you do decide to send faxes, you are limited to your free trial which is 50 pages a month for six months. And then after that you will have to sign up for one of their plans. Now, if you want to send a fax, all you have to do is either manually upload a file or select one from your Drive account. And after that, all you have to do is enter the fax number and then send it and you're all good to go. There are options to get free pages as well by sharing the service through Twitter or Facebook and just letting your friends know. Moving right along, we have Save to Google Drive, which adds a option to your right-click menu to save things to your Google Drive account. This will work for any links, photos, documents, audio files that you find online and you can also save entire web pages as well by selecting the Google Drive icon up top. Now if you want to customize how the save works all you have to do is right click the icon up top, hit options or go to the extensions menu of your settings page and then select options underneath save to Google Drive and then you'll be able to select how you want your web pages to save along with setting a destination folder for your save files as well. The fourth extension I'm going to cover is Pixlr Editor which is a full featured photo editor right on Google Chrome. Now this is going to come with all the tools and brushes that you're used to if you're using stuff like Photoshop or GIMP and you could automatically import things from your Google Drive account if you link that up. All you have to do is select open image from library, sign in Google account, and then import the photo that you want to edit. You could also create a free login through Pixlr and that will give you some online storage through their service. Now if you create a new image, you go ahead and see that it gives you a similar workspace that you will find in Photoshop and you have access to layers and all these tools on the left hand side. Lastly, we have Spanning Stacks for Google Drive, which gives you a report that basically breaks down all the different files that you have on your Google Drive storage. Now you'll be able to see which types of files you have, and if it keeps going down the report, you can see your newest documents, which ones have been created in the last year, your oldest documents, and then a breakdown of which files are taking up the most space in your storage. Alright guys, that'll do it for this video. Be sure to check out the full guide over at Gadget Hacks for a full breakdown of each extension along with their download links. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.